Hey, this is Mike. Just checking out this 2015 Ram 1500 Express. Um, this one has the Hemi 5.7 liter. Now, previous years they would call this the Hemi Express, um, but now they just called it the Express. Now, this one's in red and uh, it has the 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 bumper. This the body color and the grill here. It's got the halogen quad headlights fog lights this guy has the 20 inch aluminum wheels with the chrome cladding basically the chrome is a plastic cover like a plastic cover over the uh, the aluminum the Ram 1500 badge, the Hemi badge, it does have heated side mirrors, and with this being a regular cab truck, it does have a pretty good sized door here, and this one has a black and gray interior, and you have a like a unique pocket here that is kind of designed for a long, maybe a map or something that goes in there. Got a pocket there, you got one here. It's kind of like a shelf system, I guess. Got a power window, it does uh, automatically roll down. Power door locks, there's your speaker. And then here in the, um, in the cab, it is a regular cab, but it does have some storage here behind the seat. You do have some, the ability to put some stuff in, you know, adjust your seats. So they can see that that seat is is tilted that back pretty good. So you can put some stuff back there, and um, you know adjust your seat, you know tilt it forward and back and stuff like that. This one has the cloth seats, gray glove compartments here, black carpet, and it ha it comes with the uh, the carpet mats that lock in these little locks here so they don't slide around which is a great idea but uh, but you can also get a slush mat to go in this truck too if you want to use it for like for work or if you just want to you know prolong the life of your carpet the slush mats are highly recommended now here's the center console which actually I'll get into that in just a few minutes I just kind of want to show you on this side it's got a pocket there you know quick access put stuff there quickly you do have a handle this truck's not that high off the ground, but you know, most people do put a step on it to get in the truck, and the handle really helps out with getting in and out of this truck. And you see the rear bumper is painted red as well. Has the dual exhaust with the Hemi engine. It doesn't have a towing package. It doesn't have the hitch installed, but you know, of course, it can be added because you are you still have the you know the wiring for a hitch, something that's easily added. So the tailgate locks and unlocks with the key, which the vehicle's already started with the key, but I unlocked it. But um, you just push the lock on the key button, button on the key, and it locks the tailgate. So that helps out. And the tailgate is fairly light. It's not that hard to lift up and down now with the Express it is standard for a spray and bed liner but this one has been deleted um, you can you know op opt to not have the spray and bed liner so that's uh, that's why this one doesn't have it so it's basically still an option but it is standard if you don't delete it Same thing with the trailer hitch. See, this has been deleted on the. Well, I'll show you on the window sticker. Here's your fuel cap, and just want to point out something here. It does have this little string or plastic 
um, thing that goes right there so when you're pumping your gas it kind of keeps the the cap from slapping down on your uh, your vehicle you always want to tighten it until it clicks these side mirrors uh, they manually fold in in case you need to get them out of the way now here's the inside of the driver's door and you've got that same vertical pocket here and then you've got this uh, the pockets and bottle holders there and here plus you have your window controls your side mirror controls and your door lock controls it has automatic headlights it has a dimmer switch there at the bottom and there to the left at the bottom is your cargo light so you can push that button and it'll turn on a light that will illuminate the entire bed of the truck at nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in. Now here, there's, here's a steering wheel. Now this truck doesn't have any kind of leather wrapping or anything like that, but it is a, you know, pretty good, good thickness and uh, grippy feel to the steering wheel. And on the right side of the steering wheel, we have cruise control right here. This little four square here is your cruise control. Right above it, where it says gear plus and gear minus, that has nothing to do with cruise control. That's for changing through the gears uh, if you want to, you know, downshift or upshift on the eight speed transmission. So if you're in uh, going down a steep hill or something and you need to change gears down to use some of the engine braking to slow you down, you would just uh, you know use those buttons there this one does not have any volume buttons on the back of the steering wheel it's just just flat there um, but it does have this buttons on this side that correspond with this little display here here's the gauges uh, fairly simple and easy to read but right there in the center right now it's set to fuel economy so I'm gonna go back out of that and I'm going to show you this menu here. Here's the speedometer. You can see you're like a big, like a digital speedometer. I'm going to go back out of that too. Go into, go down into vehicle info, and I'll go over. Now the first screen in vehicle info is your tire pressure. Scrolling down uh, reveals a whole bunch of different uh, temperatures and pressures that you, uh, you don't necessarily need to look at. Uh, every day or you know all the time but they're there in case you need them alright and uh, you can there's your fuel economy which was in there before also the trip you have two trips A and B <coughs> excuse me that type of year that time of year um, anyway uh, trip A it's more than just a distance trip. Uh, it does have the distance, but also gives you your average miles per gallon and the time that you spent, um, you know, on that trip. And the screen setup, you can go in there and change uh, the information on the, like right here, it shows the temperature outside, 48 degrees. And uh, you can change that to like how many miles you have before you're empty, or if you want to change it to like a digital compass, some, something like that. Then you scroll back to, and the default is kind of speedometer. Everybody kind of keeps it there because that's kind of more um, what you want to pay attention to while you're driving. So moving on over here. You've got a, like a kind of a shallow pocket here, but something you can throw up there real fast. Your radio, go ahead and turn that on. This has satellite radio. Hello. Turn that down. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so you got your radio. You also have the ability to, as you can see, there's no CD player, but you do have the ability to um, to play music uh, in a different way, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the radio, satellite radio, AM, FM. 
and when you hit media uh, it says no media available so when you plug in right here in the center console this lifts up and you have an right here a USB and an auxiliary input and those are to where you can plug something in there you plug in a flash drive or an iPod or whatever you want to plug into those inputs there's so many different devices and you can play music off of that by pushing this media and it will recognize what you have there and you can kind of cycle through the you can cycle through the songs you can play it and uh, it kind of acts sort of like a CD player <clears throat> but you know in you know it has a, a volume it has you can tune through the stations here so and your presets are across here so it's a pretty uh, pretty basic radio but uh, with the addition of those inputs it makes it very versatile your shifters here now um, I'm just going to show you put it put my foot on the brake and it's just as simple as that to change gears you just you know you just turn the switch there so now we're in drive and you'll see uh, the lights here light up when you change it see that green so that's as simple as that and this is a two-wheel drive truck so if it was four-wheel drive it would have the four-wheel drive controls down here climate control temperature uh, the fan speed and where you want the air to blow it's very basic uh, nothing fancy there and down here you have your traction control here and you can turn that off if you want to it's default on tow and haul button that's where if you uh, you know you pull in a heavy trailer you can go ahead and push that button and it tells the vehicle that you got that extra weight back there and to you know basically uh, use the transmission shifts and engine power appropriately you do have power power supplies here and there this slides out and you've got like a drawer so you can put some stuff in there now back to the center console um, or center armrest whatever you want to call it this does flip up out of the way but you have three cup holders this lifts up you got some storage space here there's your USB and auxiliary inputs like I showed you before you do have a power supply <clears throat> place to put some coins there and this whole thing lifts up here in case you need somebody in the middle of the uh, the truck there so rear view mirror nothing special there the visor is plain now on this side it has a mirror solid black back glass you do have your dome light there All right, let's take a look under the hood. There it is, 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. And, uh, you know, this one has the insulated battery, which most of them do now. <clears throat> and it's got a big plastic cover over the engine. But that seems to be a trend now. All right. You have anything to add? Have anything to um, any comments, questions, anything like that? Uh, anything that you know about this truck? You have any real world experience with this truck? You drive one every day. Uh, let us know your experience in the comments. I'd appreciate it. 
and uh, if you don't mind if you could share my videos and like subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you next time thanks for watching